In this session, we'll continue the drawing of the locator part that we started in the previous session. We'll start by clicking the layer control box and then turn the display of the construction layer off by clicking on its light bulb icon. We'll now click on the offset icon and then create a line parallel to the bottom horizontal line in the front view. Now we'll right click to end the offset command. We'll now click on the offset icon again and then create a line parallel to the vertical line in the front view. Now we'll right click to end the offset command. We'll now use the trim option to clean up the two lines that we just created. In order to transfer geometric locations between views, we'll turn on object snap tracking by clicking on its button in the status bar. Now we'll click on the line icon. We'll now position the cursor in the front view at the corner shown here. Auto snap has automatically locked onto the corner, so as we move the cursor upward, the dashed line is aligned with this corner. Now by positioning the cursor over the horizontal line, we see the intersection symbol. We'll left click the mouse to place the starting point of our line at this intersection point. And then move down and define the other end of our line. We'll now use the offset command to add two parallel lines that are offset a distance of 25 units. Now we'll right click in the standard toolbar area and select the object snap option. We'll now draw a sloping line in the top view by first clicking on the line icon. And then clicking on the snap from icon. We'll click on the lower right corner and then key in the relative coordinates at 0, 10. In order to define the other end of the line, we'll click on the snap from icon again. And then click on the lower right corner and then key in the relative coordinates at negative 45, 0. This process is repeated relative to the upper right corner in order to create the sloping line at the top shown here. We'll now create a 25 unit diameter circle by also using the snap from icon to define the location of its center relative to the lower right corner. We'll now use the trim option to clean up the top view as shown here. And then finally we'll add several lines using the offset option and then make use of the trim option to produce the drawing shown here.